Subscribe, hit that bell icon and share this clip if you enjoy it. This is TRS Clips. This is Nachiket, uh, my manager, my operations head does a lot of stuff at Beer Biceps. Uh, give, in, give, a, give a cricket reference. Uh, okay. I, he is uh, in 83. Yeah. He is both like the opening bowler, opening batsman and he is that, uh, the manager of the team. <laughs> He's all, <laughs> all that. That Hyderabad is speaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come, come, come down, come down. Uh, so what have you picked up about uh, the truth? Say some, leave some truth bombs uh, on this episode. Uh, the truth bombs are, he has been the busiest where I've seen him, but definitely he's going to get more busy. But after five years, people will understand why everyone was busy. And after five years, I don't think, especially people those who are working hard, will ever be busy in their own life. Mm. Because okay, I'll ask the right question to Nachi. How <laughs> hard is to get a signature or an OTP <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, give give some yeah. reality. Uh, of what's it like living with me? What's it like working with me? It's difficult. Uh, we have to understand the zone he is in. So I let him be in his own zone. Maybe I have to get an OTP 9 a.m. in the morning. I'll get it at 12 a.m. in the night. So throughout the day, I have to understand what zone he is in and understands it for some time. Then he's like, we'll do it one hour later. Then one hour converts into three hours. But we understand genuinely what he's going through and we'll support him and the team, whatever. And that's basically our job to do, to look after the team and to ensure all the creative people come, come are in their the own zone. Mm, yeah, that's what I want to ask you. This is a team of creatives. And I think I think you're a back-end person who manages creatives very well. Like you understand the creatives. Zone. You also work with Noah, Manish yeah. Bhai for that matter, who I also consider a creative by the way. Yeah. He's got back-end strength, but he's also creative in his heart. What's that vibe? Like you're a normal engineering student, a grad. Lots of people want jobs at Beer Biceps. Give them a true picture of what it takes, what is happening. Like break it down honestly. Okay. So uh, being honest, uh, it's difficult to work with creative people because at time, most of the times I feel creative people are unstable in their own head. Like if a problem is not very small, I think they'll make it so big. I was like, bhai, isko thoda aise solve kar itna zada hawa bana hai? But then again, it's difficult because I understand I've been with like too many creative people. So I understand they need their own zone to create things. So it's difficult at the back end, but again, that's why we are here to look after creative people. So that's our job. And yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, and uh, just give a, give an input on, okay. What, what have you learned about me after working with me specifically me? Okay. Uh, I've learned how to be more organized. Then I've uh, like learned how to look, look at the future. Like right now, Ranveer is here. But I think mentally he's again like two years later, I'll make this startup. Bana dunga. Then, he sees, <laughs> then he sees more business opportunity. Like exactly what he mentioned on the podcast when we shifted here and like three, four days, he's like, bro, we have to figure out like another space. We've been in the same building or somewhere near around where you guys can stay. Then we can create like more over there. So it's that. Yeah. And again, I'm trying to switch off out of the progress. Yeah. I've got a lot of monkey shanti in this house. Thanks for yeah. making things happen. Thank you. Uh, and okay. One last question to you. Actually, Manish, you can, you want to chip in before my last yes. question? No, Do you no. have any questions? I mean, I just, I mean, because Na Nachi is in frame, right? He's, he has one of the most difficult jobs. Nachi and Mayank both. Maybe one last question to you. Uh, what is it actually like working at, I won't say working at Beer Biceps. I think you're a part of the ecosystem, all four startups. You do little bit of work in level, little bit of work in big brain, beer biceps. You've done work in uh, level also. So uh, what is this ecosystem like according to you? And it's your first job out of college? Yeah. How old are you? D introduce yourself. So I'm 22 right now. I'll turn 22 really? in June. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he works like a 30 year old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he does. First of all, I was an engineering graduate. I was working in my college and when I entered here, I saw this is like purely people skills and all. After seeing Ranbir, you can't be the person who will just chill. If you see your captain putting in that extra okay. effort, you can't just sit like, ha, main thoda chill kar leta I've seen him work hard, even hardest like anyone in the team. And that's what motivates me to work more because my captain is working more. So I have to work even more. L let me just say, I feel like I am Ganguly and this Dhoni sitting right here. <laughs> so Ganguly is going to retire and Dhoni will have to like take over the captaincy. But I'm honestly looking forward to that. Like these yeah. guys are all 99 born, 2000 born roughly. Yes waiting for them to hit their prime right, so-called right. at 26 27 i think and this is what we discussed internally here also that you guys have to carry the ship forward when we become hippies in goa waiting for that phase of my life yeah. like i love whatever we're building having fun doing what we're doing but uh we, I, I feel that this entire ecosystem is going to be built through these people yeah which is why it's not easy to get a job here 
like the yeah. amount we filtered even for nachike the amount we filtered for any position we have now we get a lot of inquiries from all over the country yeah i mean hiring is one of the toughest thing like uh, we were recently uh, you know looking for you said that you need a writer yeah. and uh, I, i think we've not yet figured it out right yeah. and uh, it took us a lot to crack down on a graphic designer mm. shrutesh for that matter a new edition mm. I, I, i mean before we speak to spoke to shrutesh we spoke to so many people and and we wanted that position filled for a year or yeah that. and and on top of that we were 500% convinced on a person and then we put it because you know you want to look because it's a creative thing so you would like to kind of check check it once it is not from ki nahi wo approve karega to hi hoga it's not about that it's about because you know who you want right you you know your players so i like it i like it one thing i would love to highlight about this organization here the mindset matters more than the skill set Yeah, hmm, 100%. yeah. So, same hmm. boring company. Go read boring <laughs> companies job description. Whoever wants to work with BIS, <laughs> correct. Be be very honest. People often when we bring you guys on, bring Sanjay on screen, bring you on screen, whoever. Yeah. People assume that we are forcing you to say these things. No, 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 not at all. Like what's what? Just talk about your own individual career. What's your outlook? Yeah. And do you think it was the right place for you? We know it's not the right place for everyone. This is not yeah. an easy place to work at for sure. Yeah. Uh, but. Do, what about your own career how do you look at like your current state of mind just be very honest even you can even highlight the bad things about working here so uh, obviously the um, i wouldn't say it's a bad thing it's just that at times you have to compromise with your own social life and you have to keep your phone always on like you can't keep your put phone on silent mode you can't keep your laptop away you have to be available throughout but the highs is i love ranveer and i love the team that's why i can put in more effort and i believe in the vision that we want to work for and i know ranveer as a person and ranveer wants to give it back to the team yeah. if he's thinking about himself being a billionaire he wants other people at least to be millionaires otherwise yeah. he's not going for it that's the mindset he has and when he tells that to us that is what encourages us to work for him and with the team appreciate it my man uh there is ubuntu mentality here. what is ubuntu <laughs> we'll make lots of vlogs about it yeah few things right uh, that that entire team has learned right i mean what happens is when you speak to a lot of creative people and teams of creative people they are they are unorganized and they are unorganized i guess for the right reason i mean maybe it takes that right but here we are creative at the same time we follow sops we follow calendar everybody blocks everybody's calendar we we run on excel sheet right we do tracking we do lot of stuff we do data stuff like many a times you you don't connect with those things i mean you particularly but then the team knows okay you stay out of it we'll do our stuff yeah. right so there are there are many things that the team does and you don't even know it and and we don't want to tell you is because it's not none of your business i mean do your shit yeah. i mean get people and talk talk to them